Dear friends, how are you? I'm Lam Ping Fong. In the last few videos, you have learned most of the knowledge of cutout images, including the basic operation skills of Photoshop. How to cut out and how to repair facial complexion. This is the last video of this series. Actually, it takes a lot of time to cut out. Especially the making up of cheeks. It needs to be done slowly and carefully. The whole process is quite time consuming. But there is a quick method. You can cut out a beautiful picture in a short time. So I specially made a video this time. Teach everyone how to speed up the completion of the cutout. I've covered the whole process of cutting out in detail before. You can watch back the fourth video in this series. I will not repeat the explanation here. When we cover up with our profile photo. After covering up the model's head. We need to wipe off all the background except our avatar. Only my face, cheek, hair, etc. are left. There is no denying that this step is quite time consuming. Especially to wipe off the excess parts around the cheek and chin. Have to be more careful. Try not to rub our cheeks and chins. Although it takes a lot of time in this regard, it is a one time deal. In other words, we only need to do it once. Because you can reuse the same avatar that has been modified in the future. When we made the avatar for the first time, we can directly output the avatar and save it as a file. Next time if I have other pictures need to be changed. I don't need to spend any more time to modify the avatar. Just call out the avatar file that I have modified directly. Cover it over another model's head. So that I can quickly modify another new picture. These are the avatars that I have modified. If I want to cut out in the future. I only need to choose a more suitable avatar to cover it. This can save me a lot of time for retouching the avatar. I will show you how to proceed now. Firstly, open the picture I demonstrated to you last time. This picture is the last time I spent for a while. The avatar covering myself is retouched beautifully. In other words, my avatar layer has been built. This avatar layer can be used repeatedly. I only need to output and save this avatar layer as a file. The file of this avatar layer can be used repeatedly and directly overlay to the photos of different models. Of course, you still need to do some modification after covering it. For example, the size ratio of the avatar needs to be adjusted, the tilt angle of the avatar, and the position where the avatar aligns with the neck, etc. But these steps will not take much time. And the most important thing is that I don't need to spend time grooming my cheek and chin. This step is the most time consuming. So I can save a lot of vigor and time. This demonstration will be divided into two parts. In the first part, I will demonstrate how to export the avatar layer of this picture as a file. In the second part, I will overlay the output file directly onto another picture. Please follow me to study now. This is the avatar layer that I have made last time. You can open or close it at here. If you want to export an avatar, right click here and select quick export to PNG. 
then select a location where you want to store the file. Give it a file name such as layer1.png. Click Save here. It will be stored. Let's go back to the place where we saved the file. These are the avatar files I made before. This is the avatar file I just saved. Now I continue to demonstrate the second part. I cover my avatar directly on other model photos. Open another model's picture in Photoshop. In fact, the procedure is exactly the same as the general cutout. The only difference is that a modified profile picture is used. To replace previous profile photos which contain other backgrounds. Then I don't need to wipe off the background other than the avatar. There is no need to spend a lot of time to modify the cheek and chin. How to choose a more suitable avatar. And the outline and details to pay attention when cutting out. You can watch back the third video in this series. I don't spend time here to repeat again. Let me overwrite this retouched avatar to another picture. Open another model's photo in Photoshop. Select one of the avatar files I need in Windows Explorer. I randomly choose an avatar with a closer face direction as a demonstration. Drag this profile directly onto the background layer of the model. The method is exactly the same as the last cutout demonstration. For the entire detailed steps, you can watch back the fourth video in this series. Select the extent of the entire avatar file. Create a new avatar layer. Hide the original profile picture here. Only left the new avatar layer. Then shrink it down to be similar to the model's head. And adjust its tilt angle. In contrast, it's obvious that a part of the hair is surplus. Roughly wipe it off first. Reduce it a bit to the same size as the model's head. Compare their size ratio with each other. Tilt angle and position, etc. After covering it up, you can also hide or unhide the avatar layer. To compare each other for a match. And also for further adjustment. The last step is to wipe off the excess hair. This step is inevitable. But this method has saved a lot of time. Now the process has been done. If there is no problem, we can store it. You can save it as two files separately. One is a PNG or JPG file. The other is a PSD file. PNG or JPG files are generic image files. And the PSD file is a special file for Photoshop.
it can be used for modification purposes in future. If you have any questions, please leave a message below. Dear friends, this six consecutive episode series of Photoshop instructional videos has been successfully concluded. This series of videos is designed for those who have no foundation in Photoshop. It's very streamlined and easy to learn. If you don't have any basic knowledge of Photoshop, or you are interested in cutouts and want to learn, this series of videos is the best for you to watch. I hope you can benefit from it. Enhance from basic to advanced level. Best wish for you to success. If you think my video is done well, then please give me a like. Leave a comment below by the way. Help me to subscribe. And turn on the little jingle bell beside. And share out this video. Thank you all. Goodbye. Thank you.